Perfect timing. If he can meditate, you can meditate. And anybody can meditate, basically. <laughs> Drive a car like a dude. Oh yeah, looking so sexy. <laughs> Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to the second part of our Ibiza adventures. Today we are in Ibiza town. We're going to Delt Villa and we're basically just strolling around the city right now. It's such a beautiful city, very nice vibe. Again, yet again, everything in Ibiza is nice as you can tell. And uh, yeah, this week we're also going to take you along. Oh my god! Finally. Look at your new glasses! Finally! <laughs> I really hated the yellow one, so I'm very oh. pleased with my new personal glasses. So. <laughs> you probably have seen it well, in the first vlog. In the first vlog, yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And you can tell you so as well. I know. But oh. here it is now. You look great. Thanks, honey. We actually had to laugh when we looked at the vlog ourselves every time because of the glasses and now the we difference. both have good glasses. Nice. Mega yummy. Mega yummy. Do you guys understand that? <laughs> Perfect morning with improvised breakfast, overnight oats, it's always a good idea, but then in Tupperware. <laughs> Jack Johnson coming out of our liver's home and to top it off, this view, pretty amazing. We just had dinner in Escanar and this is the little restaurant, there you go. It is called Il Caratino and I think it's the best meal that we've had so far in 10 days of Ibiza and it's just it's not like a fancy beach club or whatsoever but it's such a good Italian place I can't believe it it's so good that's it I just wanted to share this tonight and then um, there's my boyfriend sitting with his very awesome outfit today <laughs> this is my boyfriend Mr. Italian Sal oh wait I can't really vlog in this way wait 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 do a little model uh... <laughs> You're truly doing the, the model walk. Don't you love this, girls? Just a guy in a completely linen outfit. Oh, perfect. Okay guys, this is a, a little <laughs> bit of vlogging from uh, Mr. Ali. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> For the first time ever vlog takeover. Yeah, I just want to tell you guys how amazing my girl looks. The most of you probably already know that my girlfriend has a good taste for fashion, so here's a little demo. And me looking like, what are you uh -huh. saying? Okay, uh, are we doing the, an OOTV uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. in the middle of the evening? Okay. Oh yeah. So the oh, sweater yeah. is from Subdued. Dude? Which dude? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> it. Pants are from uh, a little boutique in South Africa. And these are from Seoul Amsterdam, handmade. Uh, do a little... Turn around. Here we oh, are. And then my very classy bag is from the gather shop. For the dreamers of dreams. <laughs> now with the walk? Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Take a look at our new home. <laughs> Perfect timing. He's too tall for everything. So this is our sort of tippy tent. And we have an amazing view and you have all kinds of tippies here and over there you have a little yoga class going on. You can do yoga every day almost. Quite nice. Time to do a little meditation again. Of course with these settings it's always good. You always have like the meditation sound. A true meditation sound. Mm. 
just finished our meditation and then we see this. I don't know if I can zoom in and try to show you. Look, there are many, many fish just there. What the hell? Yeah, 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 there. What is that? What kind of fish is that? We just saw like 50 of those right here. Okay. I just, I just have to say that I am so proud of my boyfriend here who also tries to meditate. Sorry for my position. If you know him, you would not say that he would meditate, I guess. But uh, I personally think that it, it is really healthy and also very healthy for you and your brain. All I really want to say is if he can meditate, you can meditate. And anybody can meditate, basically. <laughs> it's a process, right? But it's uh, you're learning. I'm getting there. And at least you're open to it. I think that's the most important part. It's not that you have to be a hippie or that um, you have to be spiritual in any way. It, you can make it very pragmatic and practical as well. No. Let's try it. Yeah. Try it. Keep on trying. And eventually you will succeed, hopefully. But at least it already makes you uh, calmer in a certain way, right? What do, what do you feel after you meditate? Uh, after, oh, hold on. Look. There's a guy swimming towards the point where the, <laughs> where the fish were. <laughs> Maybe he will see them. Yeah. Let's see. If he starts screaming, we know. It reminds me of the fish in Awesome Powers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the sea bass. The <laughs> sea bass. <laughs> What's your plan? First, I plan to soil myself. That was a small example from how my brain works. <laughs> the distraction <laughs> yes, in life, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's true. But back to the meditation. <laughs> yeah, I, you could say that if you finish the session that uh, you become a little calmer. But also I have experienced that sometimes in traffic, for example, or just random stuff if you're walking the street. And sometimes people could bother you. You in get this irritated. Case, in this case, me. <laughs> it could be frustrating. Especially for yourself Especially only. Especially for me. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you recognize it, but by doing some meditation, it uh, helps you to uh, remain calm. Yeah. Or manage your anger or frustration. Bottom line, it helps. So that's the reason why I want to try to learn to master it. Master it. Master. Oh, master it. That's master. Master it. No, no. Okay. Of course, you want to learn how to learn to master it. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. There they are. I don't know if you see it, but there, there they are. Look, so many fish. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Tempered sea bass. Look at this spectacular juice. It's a combo I've never had before, so I just want to share it. It's with pomegranate, grapes, guava, rose, ginger, and collagen. If you want to feel inspired to make a new kind of juice, there you go. It, it tastes a little bit like um, rose tea. It's really good. Really refreshing. Wow! This is what happens when you don't have a plan and just drive to a bay that you don't know. <laughs> you discover heaven, a pearl on the island. Our private area. What? 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 So beautiful here. This is just one big joke. I just had to park the car here before going to the beach and then uh, I needed to make a phone call and I forgot my flip flops. But oh, what is it? Two hours later, they're still here. <laughs> you can definitely trust the people. Onibita. I still have them. Yay!
first time Kala Dort. Yay! <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and this is what you get. You can't put it on a camera. You just have to be here. Pebble Beach all the way. Ready? Four. The dive. <laughs> Let's do it. Um. <laughs> Let's go. enjoying sundowner we're now in the well in the hot spot of all hot spots i believe because every blog recommends it and when we asked friends where to go everybody said la paloma la paloma la paloma so here we are we're going to try if it's worth it like that much worth it and now we're gonna start with a juice we're juicing the days away here every day another juice what kind is it i don't remember it's the one with the turmeric and ginger and cayenne a and carrot carrot and apple and and all other healthy vegetables good for my throat yet again but in general although probably the food is really good i can already tell the atmosphere is mostly very nice you just sit in a garden and it's beautiful here Now I regret my, well, although I have a green delight salad and it looks delightful. Yummy. Look how amazing those focaccias look here. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> I have to say uh, I'm very proud of my girlfriend now because normally also to the men. Yeah, yeah, for us it's more like easy to park a car in two cars like these. But, as you can see, my girlfriend parked this car without any problems between this car. So I thought it was a little vlog moment to share with you. So a little applause. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, my but power I girl. I can park, I can drive a car like a dude. You know it. Yeah, put it in there. Here you toch instantly zen van. <laughs> we just did a wonderful hike and I think you can do lots of beautiful hikes here because everything here is beautiful and I think hiking is a beautiful way of recharging and really sort of reconnecting somehow. I wasn't always the hiker as I am right now, but uh, living in South Africa made me realize how, uh, how awesome it is to just simply enjoy nature and everything around you by walking or hiking. Ibiza is actually a great hiking island. So yeah, it's really peaceful, really relaxing. And now uh, we're just enjoying the beautiful blue sea again. Yeah. 
so sexy. <laughs> Welcome, my friends. We are on Formentera today. We rented a Vespa, so let's explore the island. Yeah. You can definitely sit here all day. That's what he said in Dutch. <laughs> what is the place of this restaurant again? Can Corlitos. Can Corlitos? Really? I share everywhere where we're going, the restaurants, the hotspots, the beaches and everywhere. I put it right here. It's right here? It's right for you, so left for them. So right here, it's Can Carlitos. And we took a ferry to Formentera for a day. And I have to say that although we were cruising around a little bit, it's just you don't have enough time to explore the island because the ferry leaves quite early. And when you come from the northern part in Ibiza, it's just two hours to come here. And then it's two hours back at the end of the afternoon. We have a good reason to come back. I mean, it's a lovely beach and it looks very cute. It's a little too short. To really enjoy the yeah, island. Yeah, to really enjoy the island. Yeah. But I think, and maybe you think as well, that it depends also on the location where you hop on to the ferry. Yeah. Because we have also seen that there are other ferries which are leaving later uh, from Formentera back to Ibiza. Maybe that's the downside of um, staying in the northern part of Ibiza. Ibiza. I have the feeling that we got a, a tan big time today again. You're glowing. Like you're, a light bulb. you're glowing as well. And also your part here. Pretty. It's a lovely island. I have to say that every single part of this holiday has been amazing. I love Ibiza. I thought every day was just a unique, one of a kind, special, nice day. I think Ibiza is perfect for people who like to go to clubs, who want to party, but also for the hippies and also for families with children. You can do anything everywhere. It has a free and open spirit and... Um, very good restaurants. Very good restaurants. A lot, a lot, a lot of good food. The workout begins when we come home. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the balance. Yeah. Another sundowner on Avita. There's a little intimate hippie wedding going on there. Very cute to see. Enough people there lying naked, of course. The boyfriend chilling. Also cute to see. Also cute to see. <laughs> Very cute to see, always. <laughs> I just wanted to conclude this wonderful day. Obviously we are living in a world full of appointments, constantly in a rush kind of feeling. You have to be updated about everything, you want to know everything, you read a lot of news and articles and stuff in between. You're always busy, but when you're on a holiday like this, obviously you become much more quiet and peaceful somehow. And I always notice that when I give myself more rest, more silence, I actually create more in the sense of that I'm way more creative 
I get little epiphany moments such as what I want to do with my life or how I want to continue with what I'm doing or what it is that I actually want. Also you can create this at home as well by simply uh, sort of staring at the sky but a lot of people don't do that anymore because you get distracted so easily by YouTube or the internet or Netflix or whatever. It's so valuable to be silent now and then and just to yeah, create some uh, some calmness somehow within yourself. Inner peace. Inner peace. Now, now I have to think about Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Inner peace. Inner peace. You're going down. Now show me what you were doing there with your feet. Yeah, but it's true. Kinda. You create so much more by simply doing nothing sometimes and not wanting to think about deadlines or what you need to do. Just let it go and it actually comes way more easily.